Welcome to the Craft Vault. Vault, vault, vault. <laughs> My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on the end of what has been an absolutely mammoth day here at Crafters TV. I don't mind telling you, uh, it's been a busy old day. We've, we've come off the back of a cartload into a Craft Vault. We're not flagging, honestly. No, we're not. We're here for another hour of the Craft Vault. This is all about bringing you amazing, amazing deals Double discount deals coming up on this craft vault. We are fueled, yes, by ginger biscuits and coffee. And maybe something else, no. Ginger biscuits and coffee. And I'll tell you what, not just a double discount show, but this is a double Debbie discount show. Debbie Robinson is here. Yay! Can I just put a complaint in? I didn't get the ginger snap. Ooh. Got the coffee, thanks thanks to our lovely Ben while I was busy working here. So I got the lovely uh, coffee, but I forgot to get the ginger snap. Ben, you let me down, last minute. That's not, that, well, the producer, the, ah, producer Laura gave me some ginger snap. She's just saying that I ate yours, I didn't. She, she gave me some earlier on. But apparently uh, there were two in the pack, yeah, but I was, I was in need of the sugar <laughs> as well. But there's some, there's some ginger snaps for your journey home, Debbie, later on. Um, although producer Laura's just saying we'll see how the show goes, she might eat them. But anyway, uh, we are fueled by ginger snaps, some of us, and coffee. Uh, and let's recap on the show. So the Craft Vault is about smashing prices down low and bringing you great deals. If you missed Craft Vault earlier on, let's recap on some of the deals that we've got um, on this show. We've got the Sarah Signature Rose Craft Vault Collection, Rose Gold Craft Vault Collection. This comes with six elements. So you get all of these gorgeous gorgeous frames in here. You're gonna get that um, embossing folder in the center for free, and then you're also going to get uh, a half price deal on that as well. 17.98 or 23.45 for that collection is just amazing. Next up, you've got the Gemini stencil and die large number selection. We picked some of our favorite numbers and uh, packaged them up just for you. The winning numbers in our poll of favorite numbers were uh, three, seven, nine, and six. And I think this works out that you're getting six for free, uh, plus you are making a uh, saving on that as well. 1278 or 2072 is the deal. Six and nine for free, in fact. Uh, and also don't forget, not only do you get the large numbers, but you also get the uh, outline stencils to go with those two. Next up, a big hit on the last show was the um, embossing folders, the Normandy and the Provence frame collection. Uh, it works out that uh, you get both of these for 9.09 uh, or 11.86. A quarter of the stock has gone. Um, if you want to grab those, go swiftly. Uh, we've been featuring lots of embossing folders and cut and embossed folders today actually and we've got another collection here You've got to go swiftly if you want to grab this, the Beeritz Frame and Flourishing Swirls collection. Look at the deal on this, right? 9.74, well it should be 27.98 or 35.94. This is the double discount, so you're kind of uh, getting one of these for free and then a further discount off the back of that as well. 9.74 or 14.24, that, um, I mean the Beeritz is gorgeous, that um, beautiful heart, perfect for Valentine's, but the Flourishing Swirls is amazing as well. Um, the foil stamp and dies, uh, again, if your favorite numbers weren't in the last collection, maybe they're in this collection because you've got six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, I didn't tell me joke earlier on, did I, with the numbers? So the joke is, why was, oh, let's get this right, Ben. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Now with this collection, let's just get, which numbers are we getting for free? We're getting uh, six and seven for free and a further discount, bringing that down to 748. It should be 20 quid or nearly 28 bucks. 748, 1048 is the deal on that one. Double discount. The double discount deal on this next collection is amazing because you're getting the Envelobox Creator, you're getting um, the um, tape pen and the card, the Centura Pearl Caramel cardstock, and we're giving you the Score Master Board for free. 1977 or 2288 is the deal on that, saving 1519 or 1550. And once again, with all these prices that you're seeing on screen, um, take off your 20% uh, discount if you're a Platinum member. Also on the show, the um, uh, Embossing Board Beginners Collection. Again, I'm um, looking forward to seeing these actually. It's the sweet treats and basically you've got your two embossing boards 
uh, that you can use individually or use in conjunction with your Ultimate, as I understand it. Uh, and then you've got your Sweet Treat CD-ROM, which has not only got um, uh, loads of goodies on there, but you've also got um, sort of like, what do you call them? Like, your, not, like Charismas, I suppose, to work in conjunction with your embossing board. You're also going to get your um, Anthracite Centura Pearl, 10 sheets of that, and you've got your um, glue pen included or tape pen included with that as well. 1958 or $23 is the deal on that. Do not miss out. Few quick hellos. Uh, hi to Diana from India. It's lovely that you've stuck with us all day. Honestly, we really appreciate your company. So thank you. Uh, Anne Louise is in from New York. Fred171 from California. Patricia Weddle from North Highland, CA. Mary Pat's in from Montana. Four holidays from sunny Florida. And uh, a few quick hellos. Lynn says, Good evening, Debbie, Ben, the CTV team, and everyone. Oh, you always says uh, producer Laura. Uh, George is in the chair pressing the buttons and. Uh, using the, uh, the joystick. Uh, and Louise is loving the dad jokes. Loving the dad jokes. I'm pleased. I can service you with more of those if you want through the show. Uh, and Karen says, I like the two-hour shows for all the ideas and items, but I'm happy that this one is an hour so I can go get my errands done. Priorities. Have to watch Crafters TV. Do you know what, uh, Karen? We're glad that this is an hour as well. Because <laughs> we've got errands to do. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, get social, Facebook, YouTube, send us your comments, send us your questions, send us your observations, send us your dad jokes. Let's see some jokes in this show as well. Yeah, if you're liking the dad jokes, send us your worst, best jokes, and we'll read those out as we head through the show. If you want to send us pictures as well, uh, you can do studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Right, just want to quickly show you um, the uh, Stamps by Chloe collection. Last chance to grab this bundle because it is flying out the door. In fact, it is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... So it won't be seen! Yeah! Yay. Ah, yes, Debbie. Almost like we've done that before. Once or twice. Now, <laughs> um, as I understand it, you so you're going to get with this your fabulous um, uh, shoeback stamp and die collection. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Those are like the uh, heels that I wore in pantomime uh, the year before Oof. last. I tell you what. Oof. Oof. I, I understand what it's like for you ladies when you wear your heels, because I had to wear a pair of heels that were about four or, four or five inches, walking downstairs, not easy, let me just tell you. Uh, but my calves now, you should see the tone and definition I've got in my calves. <laughs> Wonderful calves. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. Uh, so you've got the beautiful stamps and then the dies to cut out uh, those as well. You've then also got your Christmas candy uh, stamps once again. You've got little candy canes, you've got lollies in there, and then all of the individual dies to be able to cut those out. And then you're getting for free, your best wishes. I think that's the way it works out. Uh, you're getting your best wishes, which again is just glorious. Happy birthday, best wishes, uh, just for you. I love the fact you've got lots of different fonts in there as well. Uh, you're getting a further discount off that too. That is your double discount. Down to 1428 or 1943 if you want to go for that collection. One of my favourite collections that we've got on the show is just Ha, which is the Circle Sentiments collection. I like this for the fact that it's interchangeable, right? You can change around the um, stamps with in the different um, circle die sentiments. Mm -hmm. You've got um, uh, ways to be able to kind of uh, cut this into your cardstock and create your mats and layers as well because you've got lots of different dies. But you've got sending hugs, you've got your uh, feel better, and you've got your good luck. You're getting your good luck for free, but these are really cute. Good luck, as we were saying earlier on, perfect maybe for St. Patrick's Day, which is um, coming up very soon. Uh, you've got your little clover on there. And feel better and sending hugs. I mean, You've got beautiful little stamp characters and how perfect are these right now in this time that we're in just to send somebody a bit of love. You don't always have to wait for a birthday or an anniversary to send a card. These are perfect just for the now, Debbie, aren't they? Absolutely they are. And just because it's one of those, it's like those messages you just want to send. And they're a lovely set of stamps and dies, that beautiful circular sentiment that you can see here. And literally, you can mix and match these. So you've got that beautiful um, feel better, which I absolutely love. You've got the gorgeous sending hugs. And then you also, have, oh, so that's another sending, oh, wait a minute, that's another sending hugs. Oh, that's another fairy. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> Mm. I've got a good look one in there in the end and we've got the good look but you can mix and match these up they are fabulous and they're very 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 easy to use I love though the capability that you can do so much with them again it's that um it's that versatility Ben so showing that shall we shall we show you how versatile these oh, are oh yeah 
Right, I've got a piece of scrap paper, and I say scrap paper, it is a bit of scrap paper, but then I keep popping all these bits, and honestly, I have to keep using them, I'm thinking I can't waste them, I, can't, I keep putting bits down here and get, retrieving them out at bin, because I think, no, I can't waste them, can't waste them. Now then, it's also got this other feature where you've got a, a, a sentiment, uh, sorry, a circular die yeah. that you can use separately as well, but I'm just going to pop that in the centre of there. I need some more tape because I've just taped that down. Let me just pop a little bit of tape on. Uh, you can that creates a lovely cutout feature to this part, and also gives you a circular element that you can use. Then you've got this one as well, Ben, which I just think is lovely. And I'm going to bring in a piece of um, white cardstock for that one. That's the word I was looking for. Uh -huh. I know it's late, but I didn't think it was that late. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I'm also I'm going to while I've got my little stamp there with my teacup, I'm going to pop that on there as well at the same time. So you can see how much you can start to build this up and then I'm going to run this through the Gemini um, now I've checked and tested this to see if it would fit through the mini yeah it's just a fraction ah. and I say a fraction an absolute fraction over so you will be finding your midi or your Gemini machines whether it be a large your small Oh, your great big one. The grand, the granddaddy. Can't even call it the big daddy anymore because well, there's another one. The, the Godfather. The Godfather, as someone the named it earlier on. What is that? The big one. The big big one. The big big one. The, the grandfather. Yeah, I quite like the that. The Mac actually. Daddy. Yeah, yeah, I like that one because uh, he is my very big boy. Absolutely a huge machine. I love, I love that capability. So jealous that you guys in America have had, uh, yeah, no. had the chance to get hold of that one. I want one myself. Some of, them, some of our viewers have got it already, apparently. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Uh, must have been Craig that said it earlier on. Some, If you've already got the, the big granddaddy, Mac daddy, grandfather, godfather, Gemini, you know, the big one. Let us, send us a picture of you with it, because apparently there are uh, those of you out there who already have it in your lives. Wow. We're, we're wow, a little bit jealous, wow, aren't we? and wow is all I'm jealous. going to say, Ben. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. And that's super, super fast delivery. I know, right? that? My goodness. Right, so let me just pop this on. So now you can see I've got my elements. I've got me feel better. I could even use this part, Ben. That bit could be used as an aperture inside a box. Yeah. And you can still read that word really quite clearly. Um, I've also got my um, die cut of my teacup ready for the stamp to go in there. And I've even got another little feature that I can use as an added element to build this up. Now, I already pre-cut a white one out as well because I wanted to do a little bit of a shadow drop with this. So I just ran it through again. And I'm going to use... Is this right? You get a tape pen in. Is this, is this the one with the tape pen in or is that a different one? bundle I'm thinking you get of. Tape, no, you get a tape pen in this bundle. But you There's get no tape, tape in, I have seen a tape pen somewhere. You I know get I've a seen. tape pen with, uh, no, but you get that with, which is that one in there? You get, you get that with the, uh, the score master and your envelope. Uh -huh, I knew I'd seen it. I knew I'd seen it. Good job, I'm on the ball. I knew I'd seen it somewhere. I knew, oh, do you know, I'm getting tape pens left, right and centre me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to line that up. Do you know what else is lovely about this, Ben? Is you could snip this. You could, you've got three feel betters there, so you could snip this up and add a, another extra feature. Yeah. But what I'm just going to do is a little bit of what I call a shadow drop. And that's just by, let me put my darker colour underneath so I can see where I'm going. That's better. Um, and then I'm just going to just give it a little tiny shadow drop just by dropping it down a fraction. Come on, Debbie, come on. I know it's late, but you can do it, girl. You can do it. There we go. So I'm going to just put that all the way around. A slight little drop all the way around. There we go. And you've got that lovely shadow drop effect to this as well. So I'm just going to pop that on there. There we go. So that's all ready to go onto my card. No, it's not. Stick Nearly. down. Come on. Stick <laughs> down. There we go. Now it is. Stick. Stick. You will stick. <laughs> and I've brought in it. I've got a little double, f uh, and I said small. It's Look. We were talking about this in the earlier show, weren't we? Small in stature. What was the other one? Vertically challenged. Vertically challenged. Nice little, nice yeah. little dinky card. Oh, I like that one. Lois saying to me, good things come in little boxes or small packages, as what I What was say. the other one that somebody said they were? Not small, but... Um Fun sized. Fun sized. I like fun that sized. one. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I love that fun sized one. I think I'm going to use that quite a lot actually. Yeah. Fun -sized. Um, but what I'm just going to do is lift this up slightly as well. I'm going to use my foam pads that I've just thrown in the bin. Uh, but this is just literally a five by five gatefold card that I've just made and actually just put some of our beautiful papers. There's lots of lovely papers that we have in the collection. Um, I'm going to line this up on this side 
And then I'm actually going to put the um, this one on this side so that it fits around and it's a little feature where you've got both on both sides. So yeah. this one, need to just make sure I get this positioned right. And I think I'm going to use my tape pen just down one off, Ben. So let's just get this into place first. So pop that on so it acts as the, the little middle part. And then I'm just going to place that and I'm only just going to position this around on this end. So again, just making sure when you do that, let me just flip reverse that one. I want to go down this side. And I'm going to use my dotty tape pen again for this one because this is um, the sentiment element of it. So popping that back on, that is now going to fit. And I'm going to use that to anchor this just into the middle so that I know when I have got this on, Ben, it's stuck down the right side. But what it just does now is open and open. So you've Brilliant. got them on both sides. So it just connects and it holds the card into place when you're, when you're popping that in. So that's a nice little feature. But what I want to just do now is add on my middle part. So we've got this little feature here. So I'm going to lay that down. And that was the um, that was the other sent uh, other circular sentiment in there. Nice little feature. It's completely different. It's got a nice a scalloped edge to it. And then all you're going to do, Ben, is you're going to take your stamp that you've got here, and you're going to just stamp the image over the top and match that in. And then you're going to colour it in, Ben. Yeah. And when you've coloured it in, this is the lovely image that you've got. So you've gone from the die, pop the stamp in, and literally depending on what color you medium you're using if it's an alcohol pen use an alcohol proof if it's watercolor use a waterproof one but pop that to one side color it in and i've just added oh i've popped my wrong tape pad on there let me just pop the right tape there we go let's pop that on there and then all i'm going to do is just trim a little bit of that off with my scissors and then literally oops uh oh <clears throat> oh I cut a bit of my end off. Oh, don't oh, do that. No, I cut a bit of his Ooh. steam off. Oh, what am I like? No. I cut, oh, he'll be steaming mad. Look, I've chopped a bit of it <laughs> off joke. in there. It'll, boom, boom, I didn't mean to do that. That was very <laughs> Pardon good. Put in the pun. But when you've got this now, you've got this lovely feature where it holds into place. Oops, let me move that there. But then you open that element and you bring this part out. And that means you can open it up and then you can just add a little verse inside. So it's a nice little feature. Just slip that in, pop that over and it holds it into place. And you've got that lovely feel better for somebody. Oh, you just want to send, whether it be sending hugs, feel better. Or what was the other one? Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. I um, absolutely love that. Quick and easy crafting. Lots of love for that as well. Uh, I do like these style gatefolds. Debbie says Panda Crafts and Katie on YouTube says, ooh. Just like that. I love that card. I'm going to give that one a go for sure. Well, you better be quick if you want to get this collection, Katie, because 70% of the stock of that has gone. Uh, Teresa says, I've put them into my cart and Lynn on face, uh, Facebook saying, I love these circle sentiment stamps and dies. So glad I was able to get them all when they first came out. Uh, just a couple of jokes that we've had come in. Uh, Ray Love on Facebook says, I've got a joke for you. I'm never going to buy another craft supply. <laughs> Sydney on Facebook says, what did the dad coffee bean say to the kid coffee bean? Careful, you're going to get grounded. <laughs> oh, these are corkers. Uh, Laura sent one in. What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a tricycle and a well-dressed man on a bicycle? No a idea. A tyre. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's an extra wheel and there's the... Uh, and then we get to think of my, one of my favourites. Hang on, let's just get this right. It's late. What, what do you call a woman who throws her bills on the fire? Um, Bernadette. <laughs> Bernadette! Because she's putting them on the bus. I can't think of that too. Five, well, about five seconds then. Bernadette, yeah, I love it. Burn. <laughs> Uh, oh, it took some doing that. It's a bit late for that one for me, but uh, oh. Ben, a bit late for me it is. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> right, um, let's talk about some other items that we've got on the show. Oh, Tracy's just coming because she just loved that joke so much. Don't you have to give me a round of applause, it's fine. <laughs> um, right, I uh, just want to talk to you about the um, embossing boards. Embossing boards. Right, so these, you can use them individually or these are 
I suppose, to be used in conjunction with your Ultimate Pro. However, I guess you can use these as are, but these are your um, Sweet Things embossing folders. So uh, double-sided, and what you've got um, are all, you can't really see it in there, but all these really cool designs that you can then um, emboss uh, with your cardstock. You're going to get with this collection some cardstock, funnily enough, which is your Anthracite Centura Pearl, um, 10 sheets of that. But then also this um, em embossing board comes with your Sweet Treats CD-ROM. So this ha has basically got uh, loads of projects, artwork, uh, loads of goodies to go with your embossing board. So basically you use this in conjunction um, with that board uh, and you can make loads of things there's papers on there accessories embellishments alphabets um, you've got uh, your templates on there and step-by-step -step projects for you to be able to get the most out of your board 1958 or 23 dollars is the deal on that and I think over the other side at studio Debbie has got some stuff it's the first time I've seen this embossing board actually and it looks rather cool so the embossing board is absolutely fabulous you can create some lovely boxes in there and then you've got that lovely CD-ROM could you all just read the list for me Ben while I'm showing these samples on the back of the CD-ROM, it actually tells you, I believe, the contents of the CD-ROM in I, there. I will tell you, I read Thank a few you. of them out, but the full list is as follows. On the CD-ROM, you've got design papers, accessories, embellishments, alphabets, bunting templates, step-by-step -step projects, coordinating papers, 3D bow templates, ribbon and tags, and sentiments included as well. Um, Basically, well, there's loads on there. It doesn't tell you um, how many different things are, but I would imagine it, 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 it's a lot of stuff on there, right? Absolutely. Some lovely papers. There is a lot, Ben. And this is just a few of the samples. Literally, it's a great CD, one with all those things, those elements in. And then the boards themselves, super easy. And you've got designs on both sides. Is that right, Ben? Is the back on the both yeah, sides? Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was. They were on the both sides. And it fits very neatly on top of your Ultimate Pro as well, because there's a couple of little notches, so it fits into there. So you can have it on your lap and craft on the go as well. So it's absolutely fabulous. And you can create lots of lovely styles with it as well. Just a great... Um, a great little addition and it's nice to see some of the older items coming out because sometimes we forget about that We've got all these new fandangled things that we're developing all the time it's nice to go back and see some of the um, what I call the originals where we all started it's a nice little starter kit fabulous price as well Ben absolutely great it price. is and it's that kind of price actually that you could uh, you know uh, grab it and, and then craft along with the kids because when you see some of the things that you can make with it as well uh, it's really going to appeal to the little ones and some some of the papers on there as well, some of the die, um, the embellishments and the um, designs that you got on there, really, really, I think the kids are going to love. So yeah, absolutely, uh, grab that, $19.58 or $23. We've also got on the show, I've, I've only got one, uh, well, I'm missing a part from this because um, Debbie's gonna be demoing with the other part of this, but the Score Master Board and Envelobox Creator Bundle. So basically, this works out that you're going to get your Envelobox creator, which we'll see over the other side of the studio in just a few moments' time, but basically allows you to create uh, those amazing envelopes and envelope boxes. So that's included in this deal. You're also going to get uh, your glue tape pen and you're going to get a pack of your Centura Pearl as well. I love this colour, by the way. It's the first time I've seen it today. The caramel, which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. So 10 sheets of that are included in the bundle. As I said, with the Embella Box Creator, your freebie in this deal, which I just think is unbelievable, is your Scoremaster. That is a great deal. Honestly, if you're wanting to be um, scoring and creating your own cards, but more than that, making your boxes as well, this is absolutely perfect. Comes with your score tool. Remember, you've got um, Imperial and Metricon here as well, and such a clever design that it allows you to create your boxes uh, very, very simply indeed. Um, Debbie, actually, ooh, Debbie actually made a box on the... Uh, do you know what? I'm having so much trouble remembering what we did earlier. It seems like <laughs> we did it yesterday. But I want to say that Debbie made a box with this earlier on today. You did, didn't you? Yes, you I did. did. There we go. Great yeah. memory. Yes, with the rose gold. So if you want to see how you can uh, make in that fact, there it is. Uh, there it is over the other side. Uh, so that's the box that Debbie made with this a little bit earlier. It makes box making very, very simple indeed. Full instructions and of course, lots of um, tutorials and ideas for you um, on our website as well. So this collection is amazing. This is the freebie. You get a further discount as well. So that's your double discount, bringing it down to 1977 or 2288. Um, but we're going to be, I think, looking as part of this at the Envella Box Creator. What, are we doing that now? I think, <laughs> I think so. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh. Rewind, rewind. I'll tell you a quick joke whilst you're getting it. <laughs> uh, 
uh, uh, Catherine, <laughs> Catherine, can you tell we've been here a long time today? <laughs> Catherine on Facebook says, why did the invisible man turn down the job offer? He couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh dear. And as we move on to talk about embossing boards, uh, Jean Marie just saying, I love my embossing boards. They are great fun to use. And Louise saying, I own all the boards. That's how I started with C. See, so there you go. Um, a great place to start. Oh, I love it. And what I love, tell you what I do love, this little beauty, which is the Envela Box Creator. And I love this. Along with the scoreboard, you're going to be able to make your envelopes and your Envelo boxes. So that's the boxes that you want to send as an envelope, but with a bit of depth as well to it. And it's all got the markings on there. You can see all the grids on there. You can see these little steppers. It's very self-explanatory because it comes with a book as well, Ben, which I just think is invaluable. And it gives you all the size grids. And I'm just going to talk you through it. So you can see you've got all your information on there oh. and everything in there. On Oops. Upside, <laughs> upside, that's down what, your head. What time is it, Ben? <laughs> What time is it? <laughs> oh, dear me, it's all time. But you can see you've got all your instructions on how to put your box together. And I'll go through this with you in a moment. But then you've got all your size grids in here from your flat envelopes to your depth, to your boxes with your depth. So 18 millimetre boxes, 24 millimetre boxes. Again, sizings oh, cool. for flat envelopes and then three quarters and also inch as, as well. I'm going to make a five by seven. So I'm going to use this grid as a starting point and this is a five inch by seven and it tells you when you come down to it you'll be able to see that I need a ten and a half inch starting point when it comes to my um, box to fit my five by seven inch card in and then it tells you so I know that my sizes I need is a ten and a half inch and I also need I, use, I need to use the grids G and K right. so I'm just going to put this to one side it also gives you a little bit of an idea this yellow box needs a large size card stock so you're talking like your oh, A3 okay. card stock this is your 12 by 12 and then your A4 or US letter size so you know if it falls in the grid you've got a color code as well but because I'm doing this one G and K now I've already took liberty to cut mine down to ten and a half inches already so what I'm going to do Ben is I'm going to show you how easy this is to use now I know on the camera it'll probably be quite difficult but every one of them is labeled A B C all the way up to Oh, oops, right. let me put that down there for a minute. Now, um, a little trick that one of our customers at Chesterfield did was she painted like a black nail varnish over it <laughs> and it lifted off. It was a bit because it's, in, because it's embossed, it lifted it so she could actually see. Um, but I mean, visually to your high, when you've got this at home, you'll be able to see them. And then also on here, you've got a point that says one, which is this step, two, three, and four. So because I know that I've got G and K, I know that I'm going in a G and K and it also tells you if I just bring this back for a second it says use position one and three so you know you've got everything does that make sense Ben did yeah. that was that clear enough mm -hmm. yeah absolutely lovely so what we're going to do is we're going to take one side and I always work in two sides so I start with one end and then flip reverse it and work on the other so I'm going to go in on position one and I'm going to go in on on the uh, letter G yeah oh, can't speak what's happened to me it's this time of night oh, and then it? I'm going to lift it up to position three so we're going up to two and then three and that's position three I'm going to repeat G okay so we're mm -hmm. going down there and that's your um, three quarters of an inch depth that you can see already then we're going to turn it around and we're going to repeat that process again so I'm in position one I'm going to G and I'm going straight down in that groove and you can go over it a couple of times, just take care when you're using your ball tool. But position two, position three, make sure it's up to the butt of those. And again, we're going for position G. There we go. So that's that bit done. Okay, Ben? Then we're going to turn it around again. And this time we're going to use the other position, which was uh, K. So we're going to go into position one. And we're going to go into position K. And then we're going to lift it up to that position three again. So we're going up to one, two, three. And we're going to do exactly the same again. And then again, what I'm going to do, Ben, is turn it around and repeat that. So we've got into that position one. We're going into the letter K. We're bringing that down. And then we're going up two, three, making sure that that's in there. And make sure that's in nice and neat. And then I'm going to go back in number three. Uh, sorry, number K. K. Number K. Number K. 
<laughs> so then you're going to go back and it does give you clear instruction as well when it comes to all this and there's another little uh, function that i've not even mentioned on the board you've got all these little pieces here these embossing pieces oh, yeah. which help to create your lovely little emboss feature on the other side of your um, envelope so that's a nice little feature as well but then it explains to you because it goes through step-by-step -step instruction what i've just done for you but then you're going to just and i hope i've done that right because it's been a long time since i've used my envelope box <laughs> then yeah. Uh, but yeah so you just you're doing it with conviction debbie that's the main thing <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to just give a nice burnish all the way around and again just using your um bone folder and you're going to redo that all the way around every single uh, score line Catherine is just saying i have the box making boards but i haven't used them yet um, i guess it's time to pull them out and start creating yeah have a go again I, I really do think again with with these um you don't need to be scared about using them they do come with full instructions and it is always that case of if you do happen to make a little mistake or you mark it in the wrong way it's just not the end of the world is it yeah, because you can probably no, go back in again or also you just it's just a piece of card you're wasting at the end of the day exactly it? that's all it is ben so what i'm just going to do now is following those instructions i'm just going to take my little pieces out that i need to take out and then snip that over and it'll become clear in a moment why you do that because when you fasten it back over and again it's just it's literally just repeating it and you can see i'm going to bring the picture down so you can see it a little bit better um so you can see what you're doing and all i've done is exactly what it says exactly on there you can see that i'm snipping my pieces up and this is a bit that's going to create that lovely tab and fold over and then i'm just going to repeat that on the other side ben as well so we're going to go in and that's all you do you just follow those instructions until you've got used to it that's all i would say do just yeah. keep, just to keep following the instructions and before you know it you're going to have your flat envelopes you're going to have your envelope boxes down to a t i'm just going to keep, carry on doing that all the way around all four pieces there we go uh marley just saying i love making my own envelopes with this board makes everything look so personalized we love a bit of um, personalization that is brilliant uh, and liz is asking why do my envelopes not quite overlap properly Would you, is there a, something which people so it may be that you're not following that side you know the this uh, that uh, i'm not saying that you ask uh, that it's sounds awful when i say that but it might be yeah. just that you need to go back over those instructions and uh, make sure you're in the right grade and the right area and that you do it like i did can you see now when i've got this out flat yeah that you take one side and do it then turn it around and do the other side so you're just going to flip reverse it and then when you go to the next size do that side and that side i hope that helps it's one it's one way that i found made it a little bit easier yeah. when i was doing it um, and then all we're going to do is put our tape on and literally fold this over so you can see this tab now and i'm just going to do it on these two sides first it might be just a case of that um so i would just say just have a little practice um but that's 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 how it should look and this is how it should look when you're doing this if you're following this size grid uh, and you know all the sizes to 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 the right size if that yeah. makes sense ben sorry i hope i hope i'm trying to work my words out at, what uh, time are we at half past seven at uh, night seven. <laughs> it, 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 do you know what as, as i say it's been a it has been a long old day today um <laughs> so if we are slightly incoherent and um not completely make, i mean making even less sense than normal uh then yeah. we, we we do we do apologize uh, exactly we do, we do because um, it is <laughs> we're trying our best people it's not easy <laughs> I can't speak right at best of times, <laughs> Ben, let alone at this time of night when I've been doing it. And I've been here all day. I watched our Craig earlier as well and then did a few bits of prep. Uh, but now can you see all this is folded over? And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this on. So again, red liner tape probably is your better option. But for speed, I'm just going to use our tape pen. Uh, but we're just going to pop that down. And you just literally match that over. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I personally do, do you know these two little pieces here? Yeah. I chop mine off. Oh, dear. I do, yeah. I just think, uh, you don't have to, but it's just a personal thing that I do. What are they there for anyway, just to tuck in and... Yeah, you can tuck it in. You can mm. do exactly the same, but it's just a personal thing, that, Ben. So before I actually put that down, I'm going to see if I can lay this flat and do it. In fact, before I... Ooh, that's only a problem with tape because it's so strong. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Hello. Uh-oh. Let's just... That, this shows you how strong this grip cool, is. Oh, blimey, it is strong. <sighs> Did you see that burn burn? Ooh. Right, so what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to put my glue on my uh, tabs. Now, if you're using red liner tape, you can get it into position before you actually um, 
before you actually put it together. Yeah. So let's just try that again. Might need to add it. Oh no, it's still sticky. <laughs> Fold that flap over. <laughs> Fold that flap over. Pop that in and then literally bring these down and hold that into place and then just give it a nice little burnish with your fingers there you go Brilliant. And now can you see you've got this bit now this part you can either chop off or you can fold it over it's entirely up to you um i prefer the folding over method uh -huh. and just give that a little burnish and then there you go That's and real. this bit now you can start to add a little bit of a design on whether you want a butterfly on there you're just going to follow your little ball tool into place and use your smaller ball tool so that you can can create a nice little end on your envelope box but what we've got now is a beautiful envelope box at three quarters of an inch deep ready to put in your cards that you want to pop in there that have got that extra depth so do you know when you've got things like embellishments on um, things like your foam flowers or extra embellishments extra lifts off your shaker cards or anything like that that won't fit in a flat envelope you've now got the ability to create your own beautiful envelope boxes with these and all you're going to do once you stuck your card in is pop that in into place there you go super duper uh, and again you get the full instructions with that as well so if you are one of those people perhaps struggling just to use these uh, or you're thinking sorry something like go for it and there's loads of um, video tutorials for you on our website as well don't forget uh, this deal brings you the Envelobox Creator scoreboard with the tape pen, with that cardstock, and you get the Scoremaster for free with an extra discount, 19.77 or 22.88 is the price that you pay on that. Super deals on this evening's Craft Vault. We are uh, heading towards the last 20 minutes or so, so now is the time I would say that uh, if you want to send in any questions, any more comments, uh, do that because uh, the, the last 20 minutes flies by. So get those questions in now and uh, we'll post those to um, post them. What am I talking about? We'll post those to Debbie. What am I talking about? I'm not going to post them <laughs> as well. I'll just ask her. Why do I need to post them? She's just literally stood um, over the other side of the studio. What, what am I on about? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Get in touch on Facebook or YouTube and I will ask Debbie those questions rather than post them. Right, let's have a quick look at uh, these embossing folders. Right, these are cut and embossed folders and actually these proved so, so popular uh, earlier on this morning. We've got the, uh, the Normandy and the Provence first of all uh, and these are absolutely gorgeous. A quarter of the stock of this collection is gone so it basically works out that you're, uh, you're paying for one of these and then getting a further discount as well. So this is your um, Normandy. And as you can see, they're absolutely gorgeous. When you're kind of inking these up, adding a bit of your gilding waxes onto them as well, gorgeous for um, kind of having these as the sort of centerpiece of a card, then adding in a, uh, a sentiment maybe. Of course, you can have it um, vertically. You can also pop it horizontally as well, should you wish. And then the uh, Provence as well. Again, absolutely beautiful. So much detailing. Um, in the emboss and then the fact that it cuts out uh, of course as well uh, these are so versatile do you know what? They're, they're kind of like time savers as well aren't they if you're looking to make quick cards as we saw on the earlier show with these you know one run through your uh, your gemini and away you go so 25.98 is what you should pay or 33.90 you're paying 909 or 11.86 it works out that you're getting uh, one of these for free and then you're also getting a further discount on top of it as well so that is your double discount with this collection. Uh, then you're also going to get in a separate bundle um, a super deal on the Biarritz and the Flourishing Swirls collection. So once again with this fantastic value for money, uh, you're basically getting one for free and then a further discount on top of that. 974 or 1424 on a £28 deal or $36 deal. This Biarritz, my oh my, how gorgeous is that? We saw that again on the earlier show. If you want to see that in more detail, uh, watch back the... What time was it? 11 o'clock craft vault show i mean valentine's day coming up hello that is absolutely perfect um, for sending that to that loved one in your life and then it works out that you're you're getting your flourishing swirls um for free as well and again that once again is a cut and emboss folder so it's going to give you uh, the beautiful cuss that gourd cuss beautiful well <laughs> Beautiful cuts <laughs> and embossed as well, uh, 974 or 1424. There is no cussing uh, with these <laughs> at all. You'll no find no 
cussing here, just cutting and embossing. <laughs> uh, right, I think we're going to go over to the others. I feel like we're tag teaming tonight. Quick, I'll tag you in. You do five minutes and I'll exactly. fall over over here. <laughs> shall, shall I show you a few samples before yes, we please. do? Let's show yes, you a couple please. of samples. Because oh. these are really stunning. I've been looking at some of the comments um, that are going through Facebook at the moment and people, some have been saying how beautiful these frames are. They really, really are gorgeous. You can add things like your sentiments behind the back there. We were talking about the caring thoughts sentiments that have been out just recently this week um pictures of your frame framed pictures of your loved ones behind the back of there um shaker cards you can make um beautiful valentine's cards you can make and then that gorgeous one that we've got is that i mean i love that really aged distressed look that's just with inks onto some craft card absolutely beautiful very very easy to use now you know me i love messing with inks in between the shows what you don't see is me playing around with inks uh, and that's what i did with this ben while you Ooh. were busy making that coffee, that's what I did. Right. I've made a couple of beautiful backgrounds just with our water reactive inks. And it look, all I've done with this, lemon tonic, ocean blue, crushed velvet, fuchsia, and then faux bleach them. Very simple, very quick, very easy to do. And one's for my background, but one is here now to go through this beautiful cutting emboss folder. You've got your metal dies inside here and on this side you've got all your embossed detail. Uh, what I do is whenever I'm cutting into cardstock that's got a colour, so for this instance this one has got colour, I put my metal facing down into there. So if you were using a patterned paper or a gold mirror or anything like that, and it has only got a white core on the other side, make sure your die is facing down. And that's just a little top tip. Yeah. Another little top tip when I'm using a cutting emboss folder is the normal combination that you'll see most demonstrators do are using your two clear cutting plates. I like to give it a bit of an extra oomph. Love that word. And I use my metal shim in between those. Bearing in mind, like I said before, don't have the metal on the top of the plate because if you do, you're gonna end up with a very banana looking metal plate and Banana that's the last fied. thing you want to do you don't want that Ben no, not you at any time don't. at night no. <laughs> you really don't but again very very simple and easy to use you can actually hear it do you hear that crunching mm. that was that extra little bit of oomph that oomph. it was giving I love that word oomph uh, but what it means is I get a beautiful oh not only do I get a lot so it's such a shame to waste that piece uh, but not only do I get now that beautiful heart with that gorgeous mm. embossing detail and I'm going to bring that out in, uh, itself a little bit more I've got a lovely little love heart that I can use for something else as well oh now then where's me where's me gilding wax gone then let me get me gilding wax back out I'm going to add a little bit of extra oomph now by popping oh. on bit of gilding wax a bit of gilding wax and you can use the same with um, inks you can yeah. run an ink over the top but all this is doing is catching over the top of that lovely embossed detail so again i'm just going to run that across and let's in fact let's emphasize it let's put a, quite a bit on thank there's you. a lot of love by the way debbie for your blended backgrounds lots oh, of people saying how much they love this gilmore saying love the blended background colors are spectacular i just literally choose any of our words so I've, the, for the particular ones of those they're the brights you may hear our leanne talk about your pastels your brights and your darks and mm. um, they're the brights that i've used so okay. the ocean blue is the bright se selection of that family we crushed velvet is the lemon tonic is yeah. and again that fuchsia is Oh, look how gorgeous that well, looks come now. come up an absolute Crikey, treat. I love that. Love that. Now, don't forget, just give it a little buff up, but I think we've run out of tissue paper. Might be having to ask our Tracy to uh, give us a little um, little restock of tissue paper, but I'm just going to use some blue roll just to buff that up a little bit. And then all I'm going to do, Ben, is... Oh, do you know, I might have to pop that on. Let me grab... Yeah, I think I'll have a little little section there. Oh, look at me. That's my label. That's me. That's my demos, that. <laughs> yeah. Can you see all my demos that I put down on for myself? Little note to myself. And then I still managed to get it in wrong order. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I do it, Ben. Right, so I'm just going to literally chop a little bit of that up. Could be yeah. a little bit smaller, I believe. Let's just make sure that I'm going to... Yeah, I can go even smaller than that, Ben. Let's just... Yeah, let's just trim that down there. Lots of love for these folders as well. Carol just saying, I have the Normandy frame. It's stunning. I made a card with it, gold on navy, and wow, did it pop. Uh, Ooh, can't send in a that. photo. Can't send in a photo as I've given it away, says Carol. Oh, um, what a shame. 
And, what a uh, shame. Four holidays on YouTube just saying, I think the later the shows, the more entertaining it gets, the more I enjoy it. I think what happens is the later the shows, the more <laughs> incoherent we get, uh, and the funnier it is for you to watch, uh, laughing at all the mistakes that happen. I think that's the truth behind it, really, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're trying. We're trying. <laughs> trying our best. Now, I've, uh, I've done a bit of matting and learning. If you're probably wondering what that is, it's where I took out the um, extra bit because I wanted to use uh, sentiments to match that lovely copper copper paper in the back. So it's, uh, well, I can't think of a better word, but it's when, you know, hmm. what? No, I've got to think of a better word than what I'm going to say. Then what word? What word is oh, it? Oh, I don't want to say it, Ben. Oh, I know what you're going right. to say. You are going to say. Gutting. Um, Huh? Gutting. Gutting. Yeah, because I can't think of a better word. No, I don't know Debbie, I we had this conversation going back along and someone came up with a good word. What was the other word? Oh, well, if I knew, I'd have told you. Oh, well, um, you see. Well, come oh, on, people, you've got to help me out. Think of another word for that. That. Yeah, gut, so, Taking so, so, the middle out. Yeah, but that's not a word. No, I know it's not. Uh, extracting? extracting. That's a good word, Laura. Extracting I like the that middle. word. Dissecting is good. Dissecting is good. another good word. Uh, Come on, there's got to be somebody out there, Ben. There's got to be somebody out there in the comments that on. can help us out with that Get, word. Help us out. What's the word we're looking for? Not 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 gutting uh, the middle. It's, oh, what um, is, what's the oh, word? Sounds like... Someone came up with a better... Laura, I like your word extracting. It's better than what we're coming up with here. In the yes, studio, it is. It's much better, better than that word. There was a better word than that. What? Extra what? Extricate. Where's she got that word from? What? Where's she got that word from? I have no idea. This time of night, I have no idea. You, you got what? Oh, thesaurus. Oh, what, eh? What? Um, extract, no, it's not, that's another word. I can't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter anyway. That moment's gone now. <laughs> that moment has long gone. <laughs> hey, ben. Now, I'm going to use, I'm cross, what, what's that word? Cross, not cross contaminating. Yeah, that is word, your yeah. word. Cross that is my word, yeah, but I'm using the word love yeah. from the um, rose gold, which we're going to come on to in a moment, mm -hmm. to go across my lovely Baritz frame. And apart from adding a few little gems on. Hollowed. Hollowed. Jeanette. Hollowed, yes. Hollowed. hollowed. I yes. like that one. That's much better. Hollowed. I hollowed the card. But there you go. Look. Bright, beautiful. Oh, I've got another Valentine's card just for you, Ben, again. Oh, oh you little yeah. tinker, you. Oh, right. I could send it to myself. You could do. I could do. Yeah. Yep. Could send it to myself. Yeah. Um, well, it is a lovely card. Just a quick question, which has just cropped up. I, I didn't ask this earlier on. Just relating to all of the boards, Aisha wants to know, what is the difference between the ultimate envelope side and the enveloper board? The... the Right, say so that again. The what is the difference between the ultimate envelope side and the enveloper board? Deeper. Um, ah. So, it, so on the ultimate board, you mean? Oh, you mean on the ultimate? Yeah, Let me go sorry. The ultimate. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Studio. I'm going to get it so I can tell you because that's yeah. that's a good question actually. Oh, well done. I, honestly, that's a great question. Oh, I'll show you. I'm glad I asked so, it. So, you only get one depth. Can you see? You've only got one lip here, so you've yeah. only got one way of being able to do this. With an Envella box, and I'm just ah. going to show you when I just turn that right, right, yeah, let's turn that around the right way around. If I just pop that on, it fits on there nice and neatly, but you've got four different sizes. So you're going to be able to create more than just the one size, which is this one. You can see the two, there's only two steps there. Yeah. But when I lift it up there, you've got four steps. So that's a fantastic question because that means you're going to be able to get deeper <clears throat> depths when it comes to your Envella boxes. Whereas on the Ultimate, you're only going to be literally left with a small lip does that make sense absolutely perfect thank Fantastic you question. Aisha there you go um lots of love by the way there's no demos of the show during this particular show because it's such a quickie but if there was that last card would have won it Diane Cup just saying I would never have thought to do the colors like that Debbie I need to play more with my inks thank you for the inspiration love it uh, if you want more of the water reactive inks if you go back to the earlier show the master class show I think it was we had uh, a nice selection of um uh water reactives Dear, what is wrong with me? Right, uh, 10 minutes to go. Come on, power through. I just want to um, quickly recap on uh, the Sarah Signature Rose uh, Craft Vault Collection. Now, again, with this collection, you're going to get a freebie. What, what's the actual um, deal on this as well? Because we're getting a percent off on this as well, aren't we? So you're getting a freebie, which I'll show you in just a second. And then on top of that, um, you're getting another uh, percentage off. We'll find out what that is for you. But basically, um, you're going to get your Love Dye, which is absolutely gorgeous. You saw that um, just a few moments ago, actually, when we were cross-taminating our products. <laughs> Um, over the other side of the studio. You're then gonna also get this 
gorgeous, gorgeous little frame here. I mean, how lush is that? Um, that is included within this collection. Next up, you've got these um, embossing folders. Um, again, just really, really cute. Great for your sort of uh, panels, great for creating your borders, of course, as well, using them in conjunction with your inks and um, your gilding wax is gonna look absolutely beautiful. And then also in this collection, uh, you have got um, this lovely, lovely embossing folder as well. This is your uh, rose blooms and there's so much depth and detail. I'll just spin that around as well. You can see see uh, that included there as well for you but then you're also going to get in this collection your decorative rose frame for free all right um, so this is included for free it's a cut and emboss folder and then on top of all of that you're going to get another 25% off which is why the price is so low 17.98 as we said, with um, these signature collections, once they are gone, they are gone. They don't come back as far as I understand it. So this is a brilliant opportunity to get your hands on this. Um, you know, in the earlier show, we had the Snowflake collection. This Rose Gold collection is stunning. Um, kind of specifically put together for Craft Vault. If you want to grab it, get it now, because once it has gone, it has gone. And, and, and honestly, it's one of those prices, again, I truly believe that if you don't buy it at this price, I don't think you're ever going to get it, because it's a stunner. It really is. 17.98, 23.45. We have got eight minutes remaining by my watch, so let us try and see if we... Oh, let sorry. Try, let, let, us, let us try and see if we can squeeze in. I'm so sorry, I was just getting carried away with myself because I realised I'd left some cardstock in my cut and emboss folder from earlier on and thought I'd get away with that quietly. Let's try and see if we can squeeze in one, one more demo. demo. <laughs> what are you, what you going to show us, Debbie? Oh, I'm going to use the rose gold. I love the rose gold. And can I tell you as well what's lovely about this? Do you know the dyes that are in there? Rose gold coloured. Yes. I just think they're gorgeous, including in your cut and emboss folder. So the dye inside is rose gold. What a lovely finishing touch that that is. Attention to detail from Leanne and the team, as well as Sora, obviously. Uh, now I'm going to use some cardstock, this gorgeous cardstock. It's on the show tomorrow, actually. Ooh. Yeah, Craig. That's what I'm going to say. On, uh, on, uh, on lunch show, I think. Um, double sided pearlescent cardstock, one of my yes. favourites. Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same. Now, very similar to what we've just used with the um, those uh, cut and emboss folders, I want to cut in into this plain side so the metal die I'm making sure cuts down into there so I've just cut this to size and I'm just gonna make sure I've got that right size there Ben let's get that in there we go perfect so I'm gonna pop that in for this one because I've only got the um, thin parts so I say thin it's a bit thinner this cardstock I am only going to use my two cutting plates but like I said if you want the extra cut the extra dimension and um, just add the metal shim in there oh actually do I need a Perhaps I might have needed to add that metal shim in. Does anybody else talk to themselves in the crafting? Uh, I think it happens a lot, to be honest with you. Oh, it? thank sure... goodness. Thank was goodness it you because... that was saying it earlier on, or was Jan... I think it might have been Jan yesterday who was saying... What's that? ...that um, sometimes like, she's just talking to herself and then other sort of family members who are around don't know whether she's... Oh, in. I can tell you, I can tell you my lot always say, Mum, who are you talking to? Yeah. I'm like, oops. I've been a little bit, I talk to myself all the time. What, not just when you're crafting, just not generally? Not just when I'm crafting, just to keep myself company when I'm in the craft room as well. Uh, but can you see that beautiful detail? Not only has it cut out, but it's got that gorgeous embossing. Do you know what? I might just emphasise that a little bit. Mm. How are we doing for time? We've got six minutes. Oh, I've got plenty of time, Ben, plenty of time. I'm going to bring in uh, my um, quick dry pink tulip just to em emphasise... Oops. Perhaps pink tulip on pink is not quite good. Let's go with something a bit darker. Producer Let's Laura just saying she feels like she talks to herself uh, quite a lot. I, th I think I respond very well to um, what you tell me in my I think I'm very responsive um, as a presenter. I'm not sure what everyone else is like. <laughs> but I just do as I'm told. I, that's just generally in life, I think, really. You know, when I'm at home, I just sort of generally do as I'm told. You know, that's, uh, I think it's the, it's the easiest thing to do, isn't it, really? Happy life, happy wife. Is it that right way hey, around? Or happy wife, happy it. life? That is yeah, it. Stress-free life. Why. As long as Mrs M's happy, then exactly. all is cushy in the world, isn't it? Exactly. All is, all is fine. <laughs> I learned that very early on. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always wrong. You're always right. That's it. Yes. You can yeah. buy mugs like that, can't oh, you? Yeah. 
You can. You can get his and hers mugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Laura. No, Laura. Three bags full, Laura. Oh, all very now, nice. you are talking about your wife and not to our producer, Laura. Oh, right? no, that Laura. This Laura. That's all no. right then. That's all right. I My thought Laura, she might have got that. Yeah. yeah. Just, just check in there, Ben. Just check in that you've got <laughs> so the right Laura's Laura. in my life. I know. <laughs> so I'm going to use again some of that gorgeous cardstock. This time what I'm going to do, ooh, 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 look at that. Doesn't that look nice behind the back of that? Do you know what would also look nice if I could use a shaker element? But I've realised I've got oh, yeah. no sequins, so I can't. However, I would have put a bit of acetate at the back of there. Oh, you we're, going to Im we're going to imagine it. That's what our Laura's saying. Imagine it. That's what you're going to do. You're going to ch challenge the inner sequins. Challenge like that That's brilliant. <laughs> Pop a little bit of acetate, not as, yeah, acetate behind the back there. Bit of foam, foam roll, and you get yourself a beautiful. Uh, mind just saying that, Ben. That looks really nice. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you could lift these off. I'm just, I'm just doing this for speed now because we are literally just um, grabbing lots and lots of different uh, ideas here. But I'm just showing you how quick and easy. Almost a sac sacrilege to cover that up. I've got another one of those beautiful loves from oh, yeah. Word, and I've done mm -hmm. a little, I've done a little bit of a shadow drop shadow effect again with a bit of silver cardstock and then i'm just adding a few little details that i've got in my crafty stash uh, which i just think are a nice little added touch let's just add a few little bits you can though decorate this up to your heart's content with all your other crafty bits that you have in your stash and again just popping those on let's pop another little floral just onto there um, and then i'm just going to add on the back so that we can get this done and I can't believe I've done. I've got all my demos in. I've that got I to say, to Debbie, done. fair play to you because as <laughs> much as I, as much as I'm saying that you know we're, we're, it's been a long day today. In between shows, I was I was sat on the sofa over there. I was um, eating biscuits. I was drinking coffee. Debbie, on the other hand, was slaving away that side of the studio, getting all of these demos ready. So I tell you I'm what, just thinking, would it have hats fit? off. Would it have fit? Perhaps needed to go get in bigger. There? I've oh. just realised it's an A4 card. Oh, what a shame. Mm, Can't get it into me, into me five by seven box. However, you could make your own boxes, make your own beautiful cards. And that's just one element from the uh, collection. Well, I say one, two elements, because you've got the love as well. But what a lovely, lovely way of using them. So many ways you can use them. <laughs> Are you all right over there, Ben? Fine, all good. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, I got them all in. Woohoo, woohoo. I got all my demos in. Love Debbie. Thank you very much. Honestly, very much. brilliant demos. For a craft folk to squeeze in that many demos, I just think is brilliant. Been on fire today, our Debbie, hasn't she? And she's back tomorrow as well. God, yeah, more, more Double Debbie discounts tomorrow on the craft folk. So I tell you what, look out for that. Uh, launch day as well for you tomorrow. Um, Craig will be here, of course. It's a busy old day. Um, oh, right. So we've got the stack teasers on launch day. If you saw those on the HSM preview show um, last Thursday, they are amazing. Oh, Ow. oh um, they are So beautiful. wait till we see those. We, uh, we've then got tomorrow wake up call with Craig tomorrow as well, where um, I, I'm going to be guesting on that apparently. Um, so I'm looking forward to that with, with Craig. I mean, I just cannot get enough. Get me all the shows. Um, yes, we've got the launch day. We've then got uh, Craft Vault with um, Debbie, more De Debbie Double Discounts. And then we've also got Colour Me Happy uh, tomorrow as well. It is going to be a jam packed day. I tell you what. Um, and then, of course, another craft fault to finish things off. I mean, seriously, you will not want to miss everything that we've got coming up tomorrow. Um, just a, uh, just a few, oh, and the weekend's coming up as well. Yes, the weekend. <laughs> just a few <laughs> final messages here. Um, Aisha just wants to say thank you for the uh, question that you answered earlier on about the, um, the ultimate envelope side and the enveloper board. Irene just saying, rose gold is my favorite collection. I own the mega bundle. The price is ridiculously low. It makes me want to get it. If you want to get this rose gold bundle, by the way, go swiftly because this is proving so, so popular. It's basically a 25% discount. You're going to get your uh, cut and emboss um, folder for... F oh, that's not that one, Ben. You're getting your cut and emboss folder for free plus an extra 25 percent off you get your gorgeous love uh die and as debbie was saying the, the dies are actually in rose gold themselves you get that gorgeous frame you get your embossing folders your little um strip embossing folders for your borders and panels and this gorgeous gorgeous um rose embossing folder as well for 17.98 or 23.45 that is a stunning collection get it quickly quickly <laughs> oh get it quickly 
um, because things are flying out the door. Diane says, thank you so much, Debbie Ben and the CC team for all the great shows today. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Teresa says, thank you, Ben, Debbie and the CTV crew. As usual, a great show. I'm not quite sure my standards were as high as they normally are during this show, but Teresa, I'll take that. One lady has been on fire today, Debbie Robinson. Yay, thank you very much. See you all again tomorrow, bright and early. Uh, we will look forward to it. Yes, we will see you back here for more fun and frolics tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're up to. A uh, big thank you to Laura and George and also Erin who have been um, making this all seamless and making it look effortless. Well, for most of the shows anyway. Um, and we will be back with you tomorrow here on Crafters TV. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ta-ta.